Good Monday morning, everybody. Jennifer, good morning. Good gorgeous morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing quite well. It was a uh, busy weekend. I woke myself up to watch the Ryder Cup golf matches over in Italy every morning the last three days. Wow, you've got to be tired. I am tired. Who's winning? Uh, it's over and oh, the US got hex murdered. Oh. Yeah. Mm. That's okay though. It was still fun to watch. Well, who won? Europe. Oh. Mm. It's okay. That's all right. Yeah, it's okay. They, uh, they earned it, so it was a lot of fun. So yeah, very tired from watching all that, but it was a uh, wonderful weekend. Friday night. What'd you do Friday night? What did I do Friday night? I don't bloody know. I don't know. What'd you do? I drove our new uh, football trailer out to the Hanover homecoming Oh, how game. was that? It was very nice. I wasn't sure if the brake lights were on or not. <laughs> yeah. I had to pull over a couple times. Um, but yeah, no, so you'll be seeing that nice. out at all our live games. And believe it or not, you and I can take that and do the morning show live from anywhere we want. On the road, baby. Uh, anywhere we want. I uh, remembered what I did Friday night, and a part of the time I was in the car for a great deal of time and I listened to the game. Nice. Very nice. Um, so yeah, I was out at Hanover. I got to give a special shout out to uh, Janelle Merritt from uh, True Community real quick. Yeah. yeah uh, Saturday. I was driving downtown and she was behind me and the trailer door was open on the side. Oh, stop. She hopped out and shut it for me. She's the nicest. She is. I adore her. Yeah, she is the nicest. There was somebody in my office singing her praises the other day. I hope she knows how awesome she is. Really? Speaking of awesome, I've got to get a shout out to our girl, Jan. Jan. Jan Janky. I thought she was coming in today. I know. Come on, Jan. We need you in our live studio audience. I thought audience. Jan was going to sit right next to Brandon today. Yes, someday soon. But I don't think I shared with you last week. So every Tuesday, I go to the Daily Grind on the way to drop the girls out okay. of school. It's our ritual. It's a little treat. I don't have to cook. And they get you know something delicious mm -hmm. and a fun drink. And they do an amazing job there. Yes, they do. They greet you with a smile. You can call ahead. It's ready when you get there. They said, somebody bought your breakfast. I said, oh, no, because it's like it's kind of expensive. We've yeah. got three meals, three drinks. Oh, yeah. They said, Somebody said the next time you come in to treat you to it and they'll reveal themselves later, but you'll know who it is. And I'm like, really? And she said, it will all make sense. And I'm like, oh, it was my angel, Jan Jenke, wasn't it? And she just smiled. Oh, sure enough, funny. it was. So what? Amazing. How awesome wow. is she and our community? Very cool. But treat yourself to the Daily Grind. Mm. They're closed on Mondays, but for breakfast or lunch, and they are doing their dinners again. Mm -hmm make even dinner Yeah, the easy. Tuesday night dinners. I'm thinking, Jan, I'm wondering if she would maybe buy my breakfast once in a while. Mine is a lot cheaper. It's a It dollar. just got cheaper today, too, it? Didn't just it? got a lot cheaper, but no, it's uh, mine's only $1.75. What? Maybe $1.25. Oh, no, mine's like, starts with a three. But we get three full breakfasts. You get the breakfast burrito and the protein balls are to die for. Very good, yes. very good. So, yeah, it was a beautiful weekend. Uh, I'm glad you got your... Uh, your uh, breakfast taken care of. So Sunday, yesterday was so nice. What'd you guys do? We went out on the lake. Really? I had to work. Um, I had to work quite a bit. Oh, you did go out on as, the lake. Yes, as soon as we could, we got out on the lake. It was 79 degrees. Mm. Oh, that's a terrible picture of me close up. It looked <laughs> a lot better on my phone. But <laughs> uh, my mom, this was her first time being out on the boat since she had her surgery really? last month. Or actually, it's been nine weeks um, since she had it. And she's doing amazing. and. We, the girls threw on sweatshirts. We didn't even really need them. People so tell beautiful. me they hardly ever see you out on the lake, so I'm glad you got to... Uh, you know, I'm usually out when other people aren't because I'm working. Yeah. So Sundays at 6 <laughs> is a really good time for me to be out on the lake. So it was wonderful. I hope everybody takes advantage of the next couple of days. Saturday, beautiful day. I can't mm -hmm. wait to talk about what was going on in downtown Jackson. But our Lumen Christie Middle School team was out in Stockbridge and five of them placed, including my Claire Bears. So congratulations to all those amazing runners and to Stockbridge for hosting a great event. Awesome. Congratulations. And I got to give a shout out to my other girls, my sweet Katie and my goddaughter Peyton, both of which had victorious uh, volleyball games and you know if you have not been to a middle school or high school girls volleyball game go they're so exciting yeah we'd like to invite you yes please do any middle school or high school volleyball game they need your support but i want to know how are you enjoying being a volleyball dad i like it i don't like the warm-ups they do before no? the games why because i think it's stupid oh you know yeah don't you you no. probably do really no. Well, you don't. Get I don't there. know any better. <laughs> you you fly in about game time, so you don't see it anyway. This is true. I we had uh, Ella had Lily over, so mm. she stayed the night Saturday. So Sunday morning, 
I decided I would go out and we went out in the street and I would teach them how to serve properly because I was sick of them hitting it into the net. Oh God, yeah. I don't, that's a lot harder than it looks. It and is And it hard. turns out I'm left-handed at volleyball, not right-handed. Are you left-handed at I'm other things too? Basketball. Serious? Mm -hmm. I never knew that. Uh, pool, pool. Really? Oh yeah, yeah. Hmm. So it turns out I'm left-handed at volleyball and once I realized that I was, but it's harder you, than after it After that you killed it. Yes. Have you tried to do the whole hit over oh, the yeah. net? Oh yeah, we've had a net up all summer. Oh, uh, so you guys have been training. And, well, I don't know about training. Did you play, play volleyball? No. How many times do I have to tell you? I was never invited to play <laughs> any sports except cheerleading. Let's go out to the sky cam, see what it looks like. Oh, it's a beautiful, crisp <laughs> October. It's October for Yeah, you know what? Up. It's not even crisp. It's just gorgeous. Yeah. I didn't even wear a jacket. You know, I was going to tell you, Halloween is on a Tuesday this year, so you're off the hook for the show, or you'll have to come in on Tuesday. Well, don't you think we'll dress up on Monday? I think we may. Yeah. Yeah, we could dress up. Yeah. yeah. I'm not sure what we will dress Last up Last year's at. was pretty funny. That was pretty funny. That can't <laughs> be, uh, I don't think we could recreate that again. That's a, that's a one and done. I um, walked in Andy's pants for the day. <laughs> Which, what was that like, by the way? I don't know how you guys do it. <laughs> Very, very interesting. Uh, very interesting. Let's talk about Saturday. Yeah, let's talk about Saturday. So Saturday morning first. Um, so I was driving around. I actually called you. I was looking for a spot to park. I ended up parked. Did you? You probably weren't back downtown. I parked that rig right outside of your office for a I, little bit. No, I wasn't. We were parked behind Veritas. We had to be here at 7 a.m. Oh. Yeah. Mm. 7 a.m. And then we left at about 8.30 p.m. Let's get to the uh, run pictures. Oh, yes, that looked yeah, like so much fun. There we go. There we are. So it was the ORS Oktoberfest race presented by M&K. Of course. Look at this. S who, super. Who are those people? <laughs> I'm not going to say no. their name because I say it wrong no, every do time. It. We'll get kind of packy. Right. Kind of packy. There you go. I know, it's kind of packy. <laughs> I love I was, this family. I was going to say, do you pack your clothes or do you pack your clothes before you go well, on vacation? Well, it's not P A C K, just for the record. But Are you sure? Yeah, but so I just maybe saw, they're saying it wrong, huh? Maybe they're their family. They're not saying they're it wrong. However, they say to say it is the way to say it. But anyway, I love them because they support our community in a thousand different ways. Oh my gosh! And they do it really quietly. Very. They don't want us talking about them right now. But too bad. You they guys. don't. Yeah. But uh, Mark, he had had he spoke to the crowd. He had. Oh, look, there's me. There's Andrew. Um, that's my uh, casual Saturday morning attire. I see that. Yeah, very casual. Are you wearing joggers? I am wearing joggers. Huh. Yeah. What do you mean, huh? Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. I wear joggers every Saturday. I don't usually see you on Saturday, <laughs> so. So. Oh. <laughs> He's gonna kill you. No, that's uh, that's uh, the picture of victory is what that is. Nice. Um, no, Mark had spoke to the crowd. He had, I think, he had six knee surgeries in three years and credited ORS, saying, "Hey, if, wow. if it weren't for them, I wouldn't be able to walk." So him and his <sighs> girls uh, walked the race, which was pretty cool. That is incredible. Yeah. Nice. And there they are finishing. So pretty good. Beautiful. Mark had new shoes. He chose to wear his old ones, but you know, probably shouldn't good. wear new shoes. To a race. That's what that's what uh, some of the people you gotta break had, had told him. Uh, the kids' superhero run that was a uh, fun one. And if you think Josh was mad over that last picture, wait till you see what we have coming uh -oh. up. Uh oh. So yeah, this was the kids' superhero run. Look at the boy wonder. Boy wonder. So all the kids got to dress up as their favorite superhero and chase after a villain. And there were a couple villains. One. Spider-Man was a villain, like believe it or not. Like Black Spider-Man? Dark Spider-Man? Whatever? Josh no. Burgett Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you should have seen, you should have seen uh, him trying to get that on and, and everything that went along with that beforehand. Had to cut the eyes out of the thing so you could see. Oh my God. Well, he sported it well. Yeah, he did. Look at all those little superheroes. Yeah, there's oh my gosh, so fun. Don't aren't you sad that our kids are yes, gonna pass I am. this phase? I'm very sad. Mm. It's sickening. I know what. I don't like it. My kids did run this several years yeah, ago. Yeah, I know. Aww. I know. Just goes too quick. Yep, it does. So fun. Let's uh, take a look at the chili fest and cook off and the brokerage house. You guys did your VIP area. How was it? 
It was great. We were in the evening. We had the VIP veranda, Veritas. Oh, veranda. Ver Very yeah. nice. The uh, Veritas did a great job. Cool. Um, so in that experience was for all the sponsors that brought the event and all the free concerts to the community. Cool. There's our very own Darren Shaw. Who Looks like you guys were wearing practice jerseys. Chef for the day. So we were wearing football jerseys. Our theme was, it's always a touchdown with the brokerage house. Awesome. So we wore those all day. Oh my gosh, fireball chili. They did not win, which was apparently a huge upset. Really? But they did have the coolest setup. Like, see where it says saloon? Those doors even swung, like old time saloon doors. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of great setups. A lot of people have been doing this for years. Storiana's was next to us and it was beautiful. I okay. think they actually won like best setup. It was so pretty. It was a beautiful day, perfect weather. It was so nice having music coming from both the ends of town. Yeah. I have to tell you though, with a heavy heart, that Northwest Chile was amazing. It oh, was, okay. Yeah, they always do a decent job. Oh, uh, it was fantastic. Yeah. They do a decent job. As a former judge, uh, you can count on Trips Auto Shop. Yeah. Excuse me, Trips Collision. Yeah. And uh, Northwest Schools. Yeah. Northwest, and they have the pro their professional cook. Yes, I know. Mm -hmm. I know. I, uh, Jeff Bontrager came to the VIP for a little bit, and I talked to him about what their secret was, and they said, basically, they have an executive chef running their yeah. kitchen. It's amazing. Uh, you know what, and I think it was, was it Exit Realty? One of the realty companies had, real estate firms had a, a white chicken chili mm -hmm. that they were serving with tortilla chips, like a dip, and that was really good was too. Good? Yeah, good. it was very good. Good. Uh, so much was happening this weekend. Also on Saturday, Tamrocks had a uh, yes. classic car show and we had a chance to get out there. Let's take a look. Hey, it's a great day out here, Tammy. Yes, What's it's going wonderful. on? We did, we're holding our first annual Tamrocks Automotive Car Show. <laughs> first annual? First annual. First time we've done it here. And so, what did you do with Mother Nature to get this great of a day in September? Oh, we just prayed for a great day. <laughs> That's all we did. So, That's God right. answered our prayers. I think we were blessed, yes. yes. And, and you, you have a fantastic turnout for your first event. Yes. Yeah, yeah um, I've been going to car shows locally for quite some time now. I made a lot of friends, my husband and I, and I used to work some of the car show events at Sears Auto Center. Okay. Um, five or six of those. And so I know a lot of people. I've kept in contact with a lot of people, and I found that if you can tell one of them, they usually know three more, and True. so that's just what we did. I just reached out to everybody that I knew. Some of our customers as well have classic cars. Um, and of course, the advertising did a lot for us too, as well as JTV. Yeah. And so you got a lot of events going on. What, tell us about those. Uh, yes, we have our churches here that we attend in Counter Church. We have fun for kids, we have face painting. We're also giving away six scholarships to kids camp. So. Get here before two to get your kids um, signed up for that. And then what else are we doing, Kelly? We're doing a 50-50 drawing. Um, so 50% obviously is going to the winner and the other 50 is going to your youth haven. Yes. Youth haven um, for kids as well. And we have free hot dogs, popcorn, cotton candy. Uh, we're allowing people, to, everybody that visits can vote for their favorite vehicle and that favorite vehicle will get a prize. So mm. it's not a judging, it's just whatever your favorite is. So that's what we wanted. You know, we wanted everybody to be able to bring anything they like. So. Yeah, and Kelly Fuels came along hand in hand with us too. They're allowing us to use part of their space. Plus they're giving us water and pizza mm. and all kinds of awesome stuff too. So we appreciate them going hand to hand. Farm Tractor Supply also is allowing us to use their parking lot, so we appreciate that too. Yeah, and also MIS has provided us with a, an official pace car, which we have right out front as well. So that's really exciting. It is. So we're glad to have them with us and involved in the event as well. So. All right, Kelly, I'm going to ask each of you, but Kelly, which car would you pick? Oh. Remember, it's going to be aired afterwards. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
Well, I own two Monte Carlos myself. I'm mm -hmm. a Monte Carlo fan as well as a Corvette fan, but the Monte Carlo in the corner is the Aero Coupe. Uh, Monte Carlo SS, those are kind of a rare car. They are. They didn't make very many of them, and so you don't see very many of them. So I personally am very excited about that one. I am also in love with the Earnhardt car, tribute car as well. So right. Especially with the pace car here, that, that's really nice. So. How about you, Tammy? Oh gosh, I haven't had much time to look around, but I like that black Corvette, and there's also <laughs> a really cool rat rod in the back, so if you have a chance to check that out, I like that one too. Ella, you're out here at the car show. What's Kelly Fuels doing? Kelly Fuels is we got the free samples, we got pizza, we do bread, we do hot foods, our fountain pops are a big seller, the car wash. Mm -hmm. How many locations are there now in Jackson? A lot. A lot. I put you on the spot, didn't yeah. I? <laughs> I know there's a lot because you drive around and they're everywhere. Oh yeah. It's a good place to shop. It is, it is. And is one right next door. Yep. That's the newest, they just built that one. Remodeled, got a yep. bigger parking lot. Bigger store. Right, right. And this is near my house, so it's the one that I use, I the frequent. I use. Right? And I work there, so. What do you think of the car show today? I like it. I yeah. like coming out here to the old car shows and everything that goes on. And so if you had to pick your favorite here, have you had a chance to take a look? No. No? No. So By not... what I've seen, though, I like the little car. The little car? The little race car. Oh, the little go-kart. Yep. Maybe they'll let you drive it, you think? That'd be a bad day. Why, you'd wreck it? Oh, I come on. Would. I don't think so. Awesome event at Tam Rocks Automotive. Jackson College had their golf outing over the weekend, the JC Athletics golf outing to benefit JC Athletics. It was a wonderful day. Oh, wow. I think they were at Lakeland Hills and uh, should get out and check out some of the uh, jet sporting events. They have, uh, it's a wonderful. Wonderful on campus. Yes, it so, is. So good. An incredible community resource yep. for sure. This golf outing has uh, been sold out pretty much every year. So really pretty cool. Good yeah, for them. It was exciting um, when we had the um, Gail from the softball team yeah. talking about like now they've been there long enough that they actually have um, people coming back, alumni for coming sure. back. For um, sure. Student athletes. That's pretty cool. I uh, I was talking to some people after we interviewed her and they want to go to that event. Yes. I said, hey, I'll go. Yes. Should be a, uh, should be a wonderful time. Um, cool story uh, out of Napoleon, yes. the, the homecoming king and queen. Yes. You well, don't hear this too often, do you? Both football players. This is the coolest thing ever. And I think they're undefeated, right? They are. So what an exciting night for um, Christian Nykamp and Maggie Van Wagnon. You know, congratulations to them both. You know, homecoming and queen is, it's not, and king, it's not necessarily popularity contest like who's the I coolest can't speak, kid. I can't speak to this, Jennifer, but since well, you are. Well, I lot... can. I can. It's not a popularity contest like who is the coolest kid in school because I definitely was not that. But it really is the one that has the broadest reach, you know, that's just like kind and, you know, sets a good example for others. And these two superheroes obviously did. That's and pretty I cool. love that they were both honored in that way. It's yeah, pretty awesome. It so congratulations awesome. to Christian, Christian and to Maggie and 
to Napoleon. the Napoleon Pirates. Yeah, congratulations, very cool. Uh, Ella Sharp had their 80s patio party back to the 80s. That was their last one of the year. Did your mom go? I do not think so because we were watching children. Oh, that's right, that's right. Oh, There's wow, a, look at that. It looks like wonderful a event. Mexican bar. Incredible. If you, if you didn't get a chance to do any of the patio parties this year, I suggest next year you make that a part of your summer. Oh, look Ooh. how fun. 80s. So I was, I only lived, um, I didn't live through the full 80s like you, <laughs> just, just the part of the 80s. Um, so I really didn't have 80s clothes. You know what I mean? No. Just like, you know. I did. What was like, because uh, you were, were you 16 in the 80s? Sorry to be asking you all this, but were you? No. Not right. 16, but I mean, I was, I was like five through 15. Okay. Yeah, so. Um, and, it, and it changed drastically, yeah. like early 80s. I remember begging my mom for like the lace cut out Madonna glove. Oh yeah. Yeah, like, that was a oh really big gosh. deal. And she wouldn't let me be Madonna for Halloween. So I snuck a bunch of stuff in my bag and went as that at school anyway. <laughs> Probably looked like a trampy little third grader. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> um, but then, you know, and then we went into like a neon phase. And neon. Then, and then it started yeah. to get like big sweatshirt 90s and was early 90s the was late, neon yeah toward the like late 80s lace, and early 90s so you could so. see a little of your arm through the holes on yeah, the shirt oh yeah yeah, oh, yeah. yeah it was quite the decade of style very much so speaking of style style icon taylor swift you um shared something with me over the break that i think is going to be quite controversial i don't think she's hot you don't think that Taylor Swift is hot? Mm -mm. No. Do you think she's pretty? Mm -hmm. Do you think she's talented? Mm -hmm. Do you think she's smart? I don't know. Well, uh, she's freaking brilliant, Andy. She is just she writing created those songs? Like this. Yes, she is, and she has been since she was 11 years old. Really? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. She has. We'll so, have to look into uh, into more of that. But, I don't think uh, she cares if you think she's hot. She definitely does not. <laughs> <laughs> she does not. I mean, she's no Jessica Simpson. That's for sure. All right, we've got a uh, great show to get to. We're going to get things started. We're talking about Christmas already with Angela Guadagnini from the Jackson Office of the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services. Stay with us.